All right, so today we're going to talk about Trailblazer fuel pump circuits. So let's begin. I've got a pressure gauge hooked up like I showed you in my other video. So there she is right there. Unfortunately, the pressure gauge doesn't have a really long hose on it, so that's about as far out as I can get it. So in our underhood fuse block, taking the cover off, I've showed you that a billion times. We're not going to do that again. Where I start is at relay number 41. That's your fuel pump relay. Well, the first thing would be just to swap out the relay to see if you have a bad relay. You take out number 41 right here and just, I don't know, this one for the high beams. Just put it in there and see if the fuel pump turns on. Now here I've drawn up a diagram that shows you the relay cavities with the relay removed. Uh, this would be looking at it as the front of the trucks that way and here are your four cavities. They match this generic diagram I got um, from GMT Nation. So what can you do with this information? Well, if you have a little uh, probing pin, a 12 volt test light, or a digital multimeter, you can test all this stuff yourself. So the first thing we want to do is I want to check this ECM fuse 10 for power right here. So I'll go over to my diagram. That means that this lower right cavity right here, that should test for battery voltage. So what I'll do, I'll hook up my 12 volt test light to ground. It lights up, I have battery voltage there. So I can hook my meter up, probe it, sit at about battery voltage. So next I want to test for these two. So our 86 right here should be ground at all times. That's our lower left pin right there. We can take our 12 volt test light and ground it to the positive terminal. Check for ground that way. You can see the test light lights up. We can take our multimeter, put the black cable on the battery positive terminal, put the red cable on 86. That's telling me it's got a ground. Now our next step is going to be, if you're looking at it from where I am, it's going to be your top right cavity of the fuel pump relay. So what I'm going to do, take my meter, hook the black probe up to negative battery, I'm going to hook the red probe up to pin. We're going to have Miss Barber turn the key on. So as you can see, we went up to battery voltage when she turned the key on. So now we've tested PCM control, we've tested the ground, and we've tested the battery supply. The only thing really that's left is to test the output to the fuel pump. Well, how am I going to do that? I'm going to use my little pin tool and the little strands of wire here. And basically, I'm going to shove this down into this top left cavity right here. Nothing else. And while I'm doing that, Miss Barbara's going to be watching the fuel gauge. Gauge go up? Yep. So again, for that right there, when you've seen the gauge move, all I did was make a connection between the bottom right cavity and the top left cavity, completing the fuel pump supply circuit. Now if you do that, if you know you've got power on the bottom right, you do that and the fuel pump doesn't turn on, you've either got a problem with the wiring to the pump or the pump itself. It's one wire from the fuse block right here that runs back to the pump for the B plus lead. It runs, you know, 20 feet down the truck or whatever. And a lot of people will spend the three, six, six hundred dollars, you know, if they have someone else do it. Oh, the fuel pump ain't working. It just needs a fuel pump. You need to diagnose this shit properly. You know what I mean? Well, I guess the only other thing worth mentioning up here is if you didn't have power on your bottom right terminal. Basically what that's saying is you need to check fuse number 10 in the fuse block. Fuse number 10 would be uh, PCM signal B. It kind of sucks because I've already showed this before. It's this guy right here. So if that was blown, you wouldn't have power here. And then you definitely wouldn't have power to the fuel pump. So how much would you save by doing this? You won't save anything. You'll diagnose your shit right. You know what I mean? You won't catch me pulling out anything until this test is done. So in the fancy smancy service manual, they say, you know, actuate this, um, fuel pump turn on lead, you know, with the scan tool. You guys aren't going to be doing that shit in your driveway, you know. You just do these tests and I guarantee you it will point you in the right direction. It would make no sense to pull out the um, fuel pump if one of these circuits was missing. You'd be wasting time. This has come up before too. These little relays, 
you can put them in this way, you can put them in this way, it doesn't matter. The way the relay is designed is they can work either way. Their contacts, as you can tell from the diagram, they're diagonally apart. It's got 40 pounds of pressure. Oh, I got 40 pounds of pressure on my fucking arm. Snowblower. Mm -hmm. Usually I like what I like to do is I like to take the fuel gauge 